Hi everyone, Erin here from Real Wig Fun. Thanks so much for joining me. So today we're gonna to take a look at one of Ellen Villa's brand new styles from their fall 2022 collection. And this is called Leah. And I have Leah in the color Sand Multi Rooted. So stay tuned. You know what, I remember when I started wearing wigs, I would spend hours upon hours grooming through and watching all of the reviews from all of the reviewers. So if that's you right now, I completely understand where you are. So my hope is that this review can give you a little bit of information to help your buying decision. And I need to thank Wigs by Patty's Pearls for supplying this wig so I could bring a review for you today. All right, let's talk about Leah. As you can see, it is a sleek, straight, fashionable bob. And I was really hopeful to love this style. And there's lots of things that I do love about it, but stay tuned, I do have one area that I'm a bit concerned about. So as you can see, Leah falls just below the jawline. And for me, my face is seven inches from hairline to chin and about three inches on my neck. So that should give you an idea of where Leah may fall on your face. I really love the blunt razored ends on this style. I think it brings an edginess to an otherwise traditional bob. I think it really distinguishes it from other bobs on the market. I love the fibers. So this is actually heat defiant synthetic fibers. So you could add a bit of wave to this style if you wanted to, and then return it to this straight style. So it does give you great flexibility. And these heat friendly fibers feel really great. Um, I like the synthetic heat defiant fibers from Ellen Villa. The fibers themselves feel very fine. They've got great movement. And I think that in comparison to how they wear amongst other heat uh, synthetic fibers, I think they're right up there with the best of the best. All right, why don't I do a turn so that you can see Leah on all sides. So clearly this is my friend. The density is low in my opinion. So you could tuck this behind your ear without issue. I'll show you my, that's my right side. So you see those blunt razor cut ends. Um, I really like that about this wig. And then the back, my left side, and then back to the front. So one thing I hope you've come to, come to learn from me is that I will be 100% honest 100% of the time. So here's my full transparency and the small issue that I have well, it depends on what's important to you, whether you consider this small or not. And that is the hairline. And I wanted to love this style because there's so much that I love about it. So this has a unique lace front and it's referred to as a mini lace front. And you can see that it runs from here to here. So the lace itself is good. The knotting itself is done well. It's, and you've probably already seen it, it's this section right here that I'm having concern with. So do you see the lace comes to here? And if I get super close, you guys can probably see that the cap is starting right here at the base of that lace, which is making this hairline look unnatural in my opinion. So if you plan on wearing this wig always down, then that won't be exposed. But for me, I don't know that's something that I feel particularly comfortable with. So that's my area of opportunity on this new style, uh, Leah. It does have a great left-handed monofilament part. I don't think that it's too densely, um, sorry, I don't think that there's too much fiber within there. So I think the parting space looks very natural. The coverage on this wig is really good. So I have a 22 inch circumference head. And that's another thing, this wig is classified as a petite average. And my 22 inch circumference head would actually be on the high end of average. So if you love this style, and if this doesn't bother you, then don't shy away from the cap size because it's classified as a petite average. Okay, why don't I take Leah off so I can show you the inside of the cap and we'll talk about this beautiful color because I am in love with this Ellen Villa shade. But let's turn Leah out, inside out so that I can show you the inside of her cap. 
So there is that left-handed monofilament part with that mini lace front. And it's this section right here that's jutting out below that hair, that mini lace that is making the front hairline look a little bit odd to me, okay? And then you have open wefted sides and back. You do have very comfortable and soft um, covered ear tabs and an extended nape. I have not adjusted this wig out of the box. So there is a tiny bit of room to let this out even further. And then certainly to bring this in if you have a smaller head circumference than myself. And why don't we check out the stretch because I feel this cap, yeah, there's a good amount of stretch in this cap, which I think is helping to make this feel very comfortable on my head. So while I have Leah off, why don't I share with you the details on this beautiful color, Sand Multi Rooted. And I'm not sure I've worn this shade before, but I'm absolutely in love. So if you are a blonde, as we head into the fall and you wanna deepen your color a little bit, Sand Multi Rooted is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I love the mix of the different colors and I like that the rooting is not too dark in my opinion. So although it's coated as dark shaded roots, I think it's blended in with the base shade of this, um, of this shade um, to make it look incredibly natural. So it is a blend of medium ash blonde, lightest, lightest ash blonde, and lightest brown blend. I think it is an absolutely stunning shade. So I hope you've enjoyed taking a quick look at Ellen Villa's brand new style for fall of 2022 called Leah. Stay well and stay safe. Bye everybody.